wanted to make a comment on the most recent Catholic Church uh, atrocity, um, the revelation that uh, they there were like 300 um, clergymen, priests and stuff involved in the rape of over a thousand children up in, I think it's Pennsylvania or Philadelphia, somewhere up north. Look, I'm, I'm, you know, we cannot continue as a species allowing this, these atrocities to continue uh, against our children, against our populations, against the, 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 the disenfranchised, the minorities, the, um, the, the gay community um, by the religious institutions. In this case, is the Catholic Church. Now, I'm not talking about Catholic, the Catholics, the people, the, the you know, the believers that 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 go to the church. Most of my family uh, are Catholic people. My grandma, my great grandma, you know, awesome, loving people. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the the actual institution of the Catholic Church. Where I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the Catholic Church is the longest-serving uh, terrorist, the longest operating terrorist organization in in the history of of, uh, of humanity. We're talking about an organization that's been committing this atroc atrocities for 2,000 years um, from from the Crusades which was nothing short of, of uh, ethnic cleansing at the hands of the Catholic Church and, and, and genocide and land theft from the Arab people um, to and for those of you who say well the Arabs did the same it's like does, that doesn't um excuse from any side I mean because if we're going to use the the argument that well Hitler killed you know kill six million Jewish people so I guess we're going to use that as a model of how to behave well let's just go commit genocide against everybody we can't do that I mean that's the most idiotic argument that people use where such and such kill a bunch of people so if you kill people, or if I kill people, it's okay. No, it's not okay. So, from the Crusades to the Inquisition, uh, the atrocities committed against non-believers um, um, and scientists and anybody who spoke against, who dared to speak against the Catholic Church, they were disemboweled in public and had their testicles you know, cut off and, uh, you know, in, in public executions and the, the constant torture and um, from the, the massive amounts of, of, of rape and pillaging from the Catholic Church against, lay, the, against the lay people, against the population, to uh, the theft, land theft and the supervision um, and the, the, you know, the mass genocide and the supervision and the encouragement through papal bulls orders from the Vatican given uh, moral authority to European Christians to invade the American continent and commit genocide, the largest genocide in human history against Native Americans and from the Spaniards to the, to the English, to the French, to everywhere them, um, giving them the moral authority to go and conquer and steal land, to the Catholic Church um, handling the slavery business and the slavery trade, to the destruction of, of uh, Aboriginal cultures in, supervised by the Catholic Church, the burning of the Mayan codexes and the Mayan uh, literature and all the language. Uh, to the destruction of, of, of everything that was Aboriginal everywhere the European Christians went uh, under the supervision uh, and the orders um, to to colonize conquer and kill the savages um, 
to the constant, uh, you know, the, even to the modern age, the, 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 I mean, the supervised systematic rape of children by, uh, by Catholic clergy to, to not only that, to the, to systematic cover up by the, by the last Pope who, by the way, in, in, I think it's, it's been 600 years since the Pope resigned or retired before he died. He, the last Pope, he was involved in covering up um, the rape of, of, of thousands of children and the ra- and the, the the covering up of the bishops who who uh, who knew about this and covered it up. Um, and, and they just they just transferred it. I mean, how long are we as a species going to give a pass to this mass rapist of children? Uh, and that's you know we're we're seeing this over here in the United States um, now. All the the uncovering of all this evidence of massive rapes by the Catholic Church, but not all. But imagine in the in the in the countries where where you know the Catholic Church is still. Uh, a, a powerful force for um, for politics and stuff like that, where where the support for for the Catholic Church has not waned, i.e., Latin American countries and, and African countries and developing nations where they're they, it doesn't matter they're they're all in cahoots still like they've they've always been and and they know not only that the Catholic Church doesn't pay taxes they uh, they own um, Massive. I mean, from the land theft alone, you know, they should just give give back to the um, to the people and the Native uh, American populations and um, the Aboriginal populations all the land and the resources they stole because they were part of the pillaging of the gold and the silver and the natural resources and uh, the mass enslavement of uh, of um, Aboriginal people for the pillaging. Of those, of those natural resources, namely silver and, and gold, uh, the Americas, um, where the Catholic Church was the one who supervised and profited tremendously from this uh, from this atrocity, and, and from cutting off little boys' testicles, so that when before they they hit puberty, so they could keep their um, their their uh, voices high pitched to please. The, the donors of the church when they sang. These kids were called, these children, these boys were called castrati. Castrati from the castration, the castrati. Look it up. I'm not making this shit up. Um, you know, and now we still, these people still have, um, you know, tax exempt status. Um, so now, and they own a bunch of, of hospitals and, and um, you know, a bunch of, um, highly profitable businesses that they don't pay taxes on yet um i was reading a report a couple of years ago the bishops get to decide when if they're going to allow a woman that comes in into a hospital with an ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy is when the when the egg gets fertilized in one of the fallopian tubes and if that happens and you don't get that egg fertilized egg out of there it'll grow and it'll burst uh, inside will blow up the fallopian tube inside of the woman and it'll kill her from internal bleeding uh, so it's it, it's in catholic owned hospitals um, where doctors are saying we need to perform this emergency uh, you know procedure to get this this fertilized egg out of out of a woman's fallopian tube uh, they're having to seek uh, permission from the bishops because because the bishops consider the Catholic Church consider that to be an abortion. So you, the hands of the patient are in the hands of some of some goon, <laughs> which is what I think they are. And if you know, for even allowing or requiring uh, the doctors to consult them um, uh, to uh, to perform a life saving procedure on a patient uh, to conform to their to their uh, you know. Uh, I mean, I, I just think the Catholic Church, should, you know, the, the Catholic Church itself, should be considered a, a, a terrorist organization. Um, 
from all the damage from the from the from their tracker record and the history not only that you see them uh the the catholic church i'm speaking against catholic church itself the institution not the people you know uh, so they go out there and they say they condemn the use of condoms like pope john paul ii did um they come out and condemn they continue their homophobia uh they continue their attacks on 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 gays and um they continue their attacks on women's reproductive rights the right of a woman to choose to use contraceptives they still don't allow the use of contraceptives they still don't allow women openly to serve and somehow they get away with it because they're their religious institution and they get away with uh, allowing for the uh, for the discrimination of a protected class, constitutionally protected class cannot serve uh, in in a, in a in a position of priesthood in um, in um, in churches in the Catholic Church. So you know, I I think these people need to be banned. The Catholic Church needs to be uh, labeled uh, as crazy as that sounds to some people. If it, put yourself everything that I just told you about an institution, if a corporation did everything that I just mentioned, okay, did everything that I just mentioned for two thousand years, they would be on fire. People will be setting them on fire. If a corporation every so often would would be, you know, would we would find them evidence of them raping a thousand children. Every every you know every six months you know one new one new uh, case comes up of like, of hundreds of kids being raped by a corporation. That corporation would be under attack. We consider that an attack on our nation, on our children, on humanity, and we would be at the un United Nations, you know, uh, finding a way to attack and, and 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 just we would be dropping bombs on on people like that. Shit. So it's time to to declare uh, the Catholic Church a, a terrorist organization. It's not going to happen because of religious fanaticism and the support that they still get uh, from from uh, the people. So it's going to be up to Catholics to say, you know, enough is enough uh, with this uh, with this bullshit and start your own. You know, you don't have to, uh, you know, be under under the supervision of of uh, what has been uh, an atrocious uh, organization, a terrorist, an organization who has behaved and has be, has been historically a terrorist organization uh, against humanity. So uh, you you can worship um, your your uh, in your belief system without uh, the consent. I I'm I'm calling for a boycott of of uh of catholic church and have been calling for it for a long time and it's close to this my son you know there's his family are catholic and they they performed uh he wanted to get baptized as a boy young boy um because you know his family's christian and stuff so he wanted to be a part of the christian fellowship um and i remember the sermon this uh, uh, the priest gave uh at his uh baptism and this his priest is a uh, a right-wing white asshole in a rich, affluent uh, community, and um, he—I remember vividly his with his condescending, arrogant attitude. Uh, him talking to a full church, church full of children and 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 women and and parishioners, and uh, him saying that um, to that if it was up to him, um, he would um, kick all non-believers into the lake of fire that the Christian uh, or the Bible uh, calls hell. Uh, if it was up to him, if he was God, he would kill, kick all of us who are non-believers or atheists or agnostics. He would kick us all in a lake of fire. This, this is, this is, and then he he joked about it. He laughed about it. This, this was a man in front of a congregation. So, so you see that the the attitude of the of a many people in the priesthood and and stuff like that. Um, you know, uh, it's it's one of of violence and warfare against uh, those of us who are non-believers still at this age and night. So, so uh, you know, that's that's what I'm calling for, you know, boycott and, um, 
completely boycott and stop. And for those of you who say, oh, well, they do a lot of charity, that's what they're supposed to do. You know, you want a price for doing what you're supposed to be doing? That's what the uh, allegedly uh, Jesus Christ, allegedly, if he did exist, that's what allegedly he called for, for uh so of call for uh for loving everybody and loving your neighbor and your enemy and all that stuff and feeding the homeless <coughs> the funny part is that a lot of these right wingers who call themselves uh <coughs> you know christians and stuff and they worship this this guy who's uh just the 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 white description of the white jesus christ with blonde hair and blue eyes who by the way the guy who modeled the model that they used that michelangelo used to to paint that that figure of the white jesus christ with the blonde hair and the blue eyes was his gay lover who was who was uh you know a rich guy from his time uh, the funny part about that the you know the paradox the the, the irony behind that so uh when, by, when in fact, if Jesus did in fact exist, he was a Palestinian Jew socialist revolutionary uh, who did not hold a job and, uh, you know, believed in, uh, in living in communes and, uh, <laughs> and all that stuff and leave, believed in healing the people for free, giving free health care and feeding the people for free too, you know, so the irony and the hypocrisy behind uh, the right wing evangelicals is just beyond me. So anyways, that's my take on the, the latest uh, uh, atrocity uh, committed by the Catholic Church.